Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your mid-monthly for the month of November 2018. This is going to be for the sign of Virgo. So well, let's see what's coming up for Virgos for the remaining month of November starting from 15th through the 30th of November. Uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so be mindful of that. And if you are willing to uh, watch my daily readings that I do on Instagram, you can follow me there. I do their mini readings. It's a one minute reading only. So if you if you want to see with the collective energy coming for all of us, you can uh, follow me on Instagram. If you are willing to get a personal reading, reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. And uh, I will be doing what is my ex thinking of me reading for the two signs which will get most views for the mid monthly so if you want your sign to be the one uh, of those two you can share my video as much as you want so um let's get into the reading i will pull three cards from the rider wick deck then i'll be pulling one card from the um miracle cards by lara shah and uh, i will take clarifiers if i will need to take from the smith white tarot deck it's my mini deck and I love it. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what's coming up for Virgos. One last shuffle. The Lovers. Four of Swords. Knight of Cups. I don't know why I'm picking up the energy that you have two people who are involved in you. It's not like you, but them. And uh, like two people are interested in you. And uh, you are basically not interested in either of them. As in, um, not that you don't want anybody in your life. But yeah, it's, it's more like, you know, they are running after you. But you don't want love or commitment or you know something um emotional right now in your life but you do have you know it, it could be like more than two options too like you know it's it's more like maybe you are more charming at this you know particular time and frame in life uh start from um maybe you have already experiencing you know you are already experiencing this uh um you know um attraction that people are you know getting from you it's it's like you know they they are getting attracted to you and maybe um especially around the you know the venus uh going direct time like around the 15th 16th of november I'm, I'm not sure about the date you can check out the astrology uh reports for that uh but i do believe that um that has basically you know casted a spell on them uh, for some reason i don't know where the venus is in your chart particular particularly but um again you can check out the uh astrological videos for that but i do believe that that uh you know planetary movements are going to have that effect in your life where you will be receiving lots of offers of love uh people will be getting attracted to you but i do see you not interested in that all stuff that is being offered to you um you will find out why you are not you know ready to go for it but uh but that is confirmed you are not yet ready to accept any offer uh maybe you are you know waiting on for the right one to come maybe you are waiting on for an ex to come maybe you are waiting on for somebody um somebody who could you know attract to you too it's like you know who could be attractive to you too so you will find out that, but as of now, what I can see or pick up from these uh, cards here, that's pretty much it. So let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Wow, you do have three of cups. So um, you might be attending lots of parties though. Um, lots of parties, you might be hanging out with your friends and that's exactly where you are, you know, getting uh, offers from the people. Um, from your friend circle maybe too. Uh, you might be, you know, getting offers from them too. So I'm I'm really sorry for that, you know, distraction that is coming with that light. Uh, I think I have not 
it's just the, the Campbell, but anyways, so yeah, you might be, you know, attending lots of parties and that is exactly what is bringing you lots of offers too. Um, but because your intention to go to parties is, uh, not to be, you know, um, hitched to somebody, um, it's, it's more like you want to have fun and that's, that's why you're going there. So, um, yeah, I do, I do pick up that energy very strongly. Um, it's, it's more like you want to have, um, good time with your friends. So I'll uh, just hold on for a second. yeah so um yeah uh, that's you know the, your intention is basically to uh to have fun with friends and you don't want any sort of relationship it could be i do pick up that energy for some of you you don't want to get into any relationship maybe you just has uh you know you just have had a you know a breakup with a person or maybe you are still in the phase where you are not looking for a relationship because you have had enough of it um in your life you believe that and you don't want to invest more of your energies more of your time into relationships because you believe now that they are not um they don't end up the way you want so let's see what's underneath the three of cups eight of cups definitely temperance okay six of pentacles underneath that let me see one more card five of pentacles so yeah i believe Either you have left somebody in the past or uh, they have left you. So it's it's like um, whatever the case is, that's pretty much the reason why you are not, you know, uh, looking for love right now. It's like, you know, you are having lots of offers of love, um, but you don't want to accept any. And that's um, that's because you have had a heartbreak recently and... I don't know why I pick up that um, you have been, you know, patient with things. And for some of you, I do believe that you still have hope about that particular ex or, you know, relationship that you had in past. You still have hope for that or um, you have had hope for that. But uh, because things didn't work out as you wanted that, you know, particular relationship to work out. So you, you it's, it's more like, you know, maybe they walked away uh, and um, and you kind of, you know, stayed there just to, uh, just to, you know, it could be vice versa. Maybe they have, you know, stayed there and you walked away and they stayed there for some time and then they are, you know, just now walking away from relationships and stuff like that. And if it's your energy, then... Um, you are, you know, you have, you know, if if they have left you in, you know, in this relationship, you still waited on for them, being patient, being, uh, being uh, hopeful that, you know, they might return, but they did not. So that is what made you walk away from it. Like, you know, that pushed you to move, uh, you know, um, that pushed you to just let it go and, you know, let, let, um, let good things come in your life and don't stay stuck in a situation where you are not allowing any good thing happening in your life because you are being in a very emotional state where you are feeling low about your side about yourself about your love life about the other things that you are dealing with in your life so um that that is why that is still you know that is why still you are not going to be opening up to receive love offers you you would be all good flirting around with people you would be all good having good time spending you know with friends and family i do pick up very uh, you know party kind of energy with three of cups here it's like you feel that's the only uh, way out from this situation where you are heartbroken and stuff um you try to be as cool as you want to be uh, when you are in the party with the people. But when you get back home, you are not happy. You are, um, you are hurt. 
you are expecting the love of your life to come back to you and you have this hope somehow still you do have that and that is why maybe you are not ready to accept any love offer coming your way because you want your ex back and i believe that has been you know um theme for you for quite some time now like you know one month it is there or the other month it's gone one month it's there and the other month it's gone so um maybe you are still struggling to come out of your ex or your past and but this time around i do feel very strongly if if you know since you are not accepting any love offer right now maybe uh i will take a clarify for the knight of cups here if if it's somebody new or somebody from your past coming back but i do believe that you are like since you are going to be receiving lots of offers of love in the you know um beginning part of the second half of the month like around 15 16 or uh through um maybe through uh, 20th or something like that but you won't be accepting any offers but around the end of the month you are going to meet somebody it could be somebody from your past it could be somebody new but whoever this is going to be i just saw that it was 11 11 when i said that you are going to meet somebody so um who uh whoever it is going to be the uh, you know regardless of somebody from your past somebody from uh, somebody new but i believe you will accept their offer they will be somebody who will be able to ignite that passion which she felt was you know gone forever so let me take a clarify for the knight of cups here who is this person going to be in your life um is it somebody from your past or somebody new in your life because i believe that this person will be able to win your heart the person who will come to or in your life during the um maybe last week of uh, november and you definitely will meet this person through i think some sort of gathering whoever this person is this person is going to be somebody very passionate somebody very um somebody very uh charming uh somebody who is uh ready to to give you all because it's like you know they have been waiting to meet somebody like you so i don't see if it's somebody new or somebody from your past i cannot see that as of now six of swords at the bottom of the deck but this person whoever it is going to be in your life uh coming in your life this is your soulmate with the star card here this person is going to be your soulmate this connection is going to be divinely protected this connection is going to be divinely timed brought in your life so um whatever you know hurt that you have been through whatever uh whatever whatever that has you know that has uh, made you gone through all that in your love life everything is going to um give you a reason once you meet this person because ne nothing ever worked between the two of you because this person is who you were meant to be with so uh definitely the end of the month is going to be something very beautiful and special for you um and all your wishes will be granted during regarding the love life you definitely going to meet somebody i believe that this person is going to be somebody new not somebody uh you wanted but trust me and have faith that this person is going to be even more um it's you know this person is going to be you know the um what's the word that we use in uh, uh how do you say that you know the latest version of something you know if you if you ask for something um if you ask for a suzuki car you will be getting an audi like you know that kind of a thing um if you ask for a person to be you know having these qualities you know a limited one this person will be you know 100 times better than the one you ask for and you you will be thankful for not you know settling in uh life with anybody else but them because this person will bring you lots of happiness and this is your soulmate so yeah
Let's see what's the additional guidance for you from the Miracle Cards by Lara Shaw. <laughs> Cute. Explore new avenues to touch great heights. For a magnetic aura, have positive thoughts. Hmm. Pretty much resonating with this. I believe you will be um you will be keeping yourself busy uh in a way that you won't be able like like I said you will be all happy and all good when you are out with friends and stuff and that's why people are you know you are so happy charming good looking uh that's why people are attracted to you but when you get back home you get down into you know deep down into your thoughts and stuff like that but uh every day when you wake up you are you know um excited and all about your life but like i said you you will have this um you will have this you know sudden change in your attitude around uh around the end last week of um this month and that change will be you know it's it's more like you will allow that love to flow into your life and that is because like i said it is divinely timed thing so something will happen that will that will uh, that will make you open up to receiving this love offer that will come your way so uh yeah a tremendous activity and liveliness um enter your life with this uh card um this is associated with the planet mars which is known for its vibrant and fairy nature the card means that this card means that blocks or obstacles that keep crossing your path will soon be removed and a smooth road lies ahead. Higher visions and in-depth realizations will hold top priority in your life. Have faith in yourself and in the power of uh, this card. Feel energy and joy in the center of your heart and wish for what your heart truly desires and you will see it fulfilled the doors to change will open there you go i just mentioned the doors you will open you know yourself to receive the love your prayers and uh, are being answered altering your life for the better make powerful affirmations with the help of divine light and things will speed up for you for the successful completion of projects and destined journeys so yeah that's that's um pretty much what i said already so yeah uh, i wish you all the best and i hope uh, the reading resonates with you if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if um you want to get a personal reading reach out to me on my email id in the description box till i do your next reading take care Bye bye